This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Really proud of our group's second half effort. Uh, not that I'm not proud of the first. I just thought in the second half we uh, kind of imposed our will on both ends of the floor. And uh, I think it started with Elijah Cuffey. He was, uh, he was really, really special today uh, defensively. And, you know, when he went out with two fouls in the first half, they kind of changed it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll let you guys ask questions. Am I closing that? Hey, Richie, you were talking yesterday, the analytics point toward uh, running you guys off the three-point line, and today you guys had 40 points in the paint, and really early on you guys made a concerted effort to get into the paint with Chris and Darius and those guys, and how much did that open things up as this game you know, moved into the second half and you guys were able to get some room and rhythm looks from beyond the arc? Well, their game plan was to run us off the three, so uh, I think we just, again, we're a program that just – tries to take what we're given. And I thought we did a much better job in the second half, uh, especially in the second half, of just being a little bit more patient to find the right look. And, uh, you know, when the shots go in, it looks like it's really good offense. But we try and measure the quality of our shot by, not by the result, but by the look itself. And I thought we were getting good ones both halves, just uh, more went through the, the hoop or the net in the second half. You mentioned your defense, uh, Youngblood and Rogers combined for 26 first half points, and then you guys hold them to a combined two points in the second half. Uh, defensively, uh, just how much better connected were you guys in making sure that those guys weren't able to get going in the second half? Well, I thought our defense was really good, and then when Cuff went out with his second foul, I think it uh, and, and uh, both of those kids can make really tough shots. And I, I, again, I, I thought we did a decent job. Um, but we certainly were we were really connected in the second half. You, you could you could tell by the energy on the bench and um, the connectivity that our, our group was really locked in. You, you've spoken consistently about how tough it is to win these league games and uh, sweeping a weekend series is equally as daunting with uh, you know two teams playing back to back and how. How satisfying is it to get the first sweep of the year? And uh, what does this do for your morale uh, heading into this upcoming games, uh, next weekend's games against Stetson? Yeah, our desire every time out is to try and find the best version of ourselves. And uh, I thought we touched a little bit of that today. Uh, I'll, I'll reflect on, you know, the the weekend's games after I watch the the game film. But yeah, I, I'm pleased with our group. You guys, is again the. the the unspoken uh, is is the player's mental exhaustion and fatigue. Like we can talk about the the minutes and the 80 minutes is hard to do this and do that, but I just think when you when you're constantly testing, when you're constantly faced with change, when you're asked to isolate and not not socialize, it, I think it's taxing for the 18 to 22 year old. Heck, if it's taxing for us adults. So what I'm, what I'm really pleased with is our guys have shown a response and a maturity that I think warrants uh, more opportunity. And, and I'm, I'm blessed by the opportunity that I get to, to be around these guys because I think, I think they're inspiring.